everybody. I have a B flat harp here. Try practicing this. This is um, cross harp stuff, but uh, it's going back and forth, back and forth with your tongue, not up and down like la la la. la. It's like uh, like not not that like a snake tongue, you know, or a lizard tongue. Not like that. A sideways tongue. Maybe a platypus tongue. Anyway, like that. And I heard a story about Tim Wilson from the old Thunderbird band. He was trying to get it. He just sat in his car, you know, trying to get it. And just practiced and practiced it. Now, he and people like uh, Dennis, uh, um, they have these great back and forth. I forgot what they call it technically, but there's a name. Uh, uh, so that you get two notes happening at the same time, back and forth. Anyway, it's a cool technique, and it, but like it, I, I have a slow one with it, but it sounds like. Now, if I slow it down, the goal is to get. <laughs> okay, that's the third note. Also, I'm, my goal is to go back and forth between the third and the fourth note. So let's see. That's the third note. Now I could do that by like with the harmonica, doing like. But I can't, and I can do it pretty fast with the harmonica. And you think, well, okay. You can do it with the harmonica like that, and your tongue's on it. What's the point, maybe, of going back and forth with your tongue? Well, it's just more things that your tongue can do on the harp, the, the cooler the overall effect is, I think. So, so I practice it going... So, let's start on the four-hole draw. Back and forth, those three notes. Let's see if I do it faster. So if I am just playing that, in the general scheme of things, it sounds something more like a... So you can just move it around in contrast to the up and down. You can contrast it with that. So I'm just going up and down and look back. Back up and down. That's up and down. Sideways would be. Up and down would be. I would. That's with with that just going up and down. Now, in a way, there isn't a huge difference, but there is a difference in that sound because that's a sideways thing. Now, if you do it slowly around the middle part of the harmonica, practice that for sure. Four, three, four, three, four, three, four. But, in the middle part of the octave, four, five, six, seven, just take your tongue and go, and eventually, and work it if you want, and make it go, like that. And here's the, that's the back and forth, and here's the um, tongue flutter, the straight ahead tongue flutter. So, back and forth. I'm in the same place in the harmonica with the tongue flutter. So I have to move the harp to get those same notes where I don't have to if I do the tongue flutter. I mean if I do the uh, back and forth thing. Harp is completely non-moving. Now with the tongue flutter. Let's 
say, no big deal, but there's a big deal in the sense that, well, it's just another thing you can do with the, with the sound, you know? And, um, speaking of that, a nice cool thing to do with a, with a straight ahead harmonica, like your tongue thing, the, that one is to go, do that major scale, tapping each note with your tongue. So just, and you can practice that with the flutter too. In con that's the tongue flutter in contrast to the up and down. I say it up and down, but it's really... I mean, um, sideways. Now, um, in contrast, those things with just, uh, saying, well, you know, I just, I pucker with harmonica, I'd rather just play with my, with my lips, that's cool, and I'd rather not mess around with the tone at all. Ah. Horby, that would be like you playing with your beak, wouldn't it? But if you took that incredible tongue of yours and played a little more harp with it, you'd probably be successful. But you're just a lazy old bird. Anyway, um, this is just a, uh, the, um, puckering thing. It's actually really hard for me to, just to play that without wanting to put my tongue on it. But to be able to do that well is another thing in your, uh, you know, in your lick kick, your lick, lick kit, so to speak. It's a tool kit, like carpenters, it's a lick kit. And also, a fourth thing would be just to put your tongue on it without doing any kind of fluttering effect. So that would be the opposite to the puckering, which is... Now we'll put the tongue on the harp. Now we'll do the tongue back and forth on it, that sideways thing. First I'm gonna clean out the spit. Mix lots a little bit more hip. Okay, uh, here we go. Do it slowly, it's like... Just practice from anywhere going that. I guess not exactly anywhere, but most places, wherever you happen to be alone. Um, and there's a lot of places that we're alone. Practice it when you think of it, you know, and um, seriously, because it's. You'll get there like. The guys that do it really fast, really incredible tone on it, it's really cool. Now, um, okay, that was the sideways thing. So the fourth thing is the, again, the uh, tongue straight ahead, kind of tongue flutter. So we have four things we think we did right now to, to, to cover. The, um, the forward tongue on the harp thing, where the flutter thing. The sideways tongue thing, the um, puckering thing, 
on the um the uh tone thing just on the heart. So those are four different things to practice on the harp, plus that little, little lick, um, you know, plus the other thing where you just go between the fourth and the sixth with your tongue going sideways and just go on. Even if it goes really slow, you still get this cool. Which is another thing to do it. Speaking of that, yeah, slow down the speed of it. Even if you can go really fast and you get to a point where it's just an instinct to go. Think of it like... Have control over it. Okay, and then that lick I had showed you from at the get-go was like 434. So that's just my tongue going from the four to the three to the four. Instead of going, see the heart move a little bit. I don't have to do that if I go. All right. So hope you have, hope this is beneficial and you understand a little bit more. So I'm trying to remember to. Um, Aside from just playing songs here and there, um, or do what I do, stories and stuff, uh, I really want to throw in, uh, you know, some the basic teaching stuff, uh, because I think really if you practice these skills, like I've said a million times, I mean, uh, and that was the major skill we were working on between the fourth and the seventh hole, and when we go down lower, maybe next couple of days, whatever, to do the same thing. Again, practice that with the uh, it's hard to do that because you gotta bend those notes there, you know. See how cool that is going back and forth in those first four holes, just the tongue going sideways. <laughs> or just doing the, the normal tongue like that. Sideways. Anyway, that's for another lesson, but concentrate on the fourth to the seventh hole doing that stuff and have a great time uh, doing it, okay? And remember, slow to fast, you know? Nothing, if you start out super fast, you know, like in race cars, you know, they go pretty fast when they take off on race horses. Sure, they're pretty fast, but they do speed up. And, you know, on certain parts, curves and things like that, they gotta slow down a little bit. So, you know, when you get to a curve in this thing and you have some problems, slow down and just go over it nice and easy. Because that's about what it's all about. Nice and easy. Okay? Take care now, y'all. Have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you're at. Now I'll try to find some place to get a haircut with my remaining hair. Take care now.